<laughs> Welcome to Evolution of the Apocalypse. What's up, everybody? This is Mike from Evolution of the Apocalypse. You can find us at evolutionofthepocalypse.com. You can find us on iTunes, Stitcher, HorrorNews.net. And uh, today we got another another video for you guys. Today something a little different. Um, I'm in front of my house here, so I'm just going to do a little little video here on how to make a char cloth. Um, a char cloth is really good for you you make it and then you put it in your bag, so that way when you're ready, like you're out in, in you know you put it in your bug out bag. If you're out and you need to start a fire, it's an easier way to start a fire. It's small. You can put them inside of a little tin, and that's how you cook them too. And and uh, you just take a piece of a cotton here. Stick it inside the tin, close it up. You want to put a small hole in the top of the tin there, and uh, you want to cook it for about five to seven minutes. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw it on my little campfire stove and uh, see how long it takes, and then show you guys the end result. As you can see here, we got it cooking, and we got some some a lot of smoke coming out of the top, which is a good thing. You want to see that smoke? Um, like I said, you want to give it about five to seven minutes. Of this, and when the smoke turns into a light smoke, you know your 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 cloth is good and cooked. So we'll check back in on it here in a second. All right, now as you can see, we barely got any smoke coming out. So uh, that's a good indicator that our cloth is pretty much almost done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, take a pause. I'm gonna let the can the tin cool off, so I can go ahead and pop it open and uh, check out our char cloth. So. We'll be right back again. All right, everybody. So we're back. So we're going to check on our char cloth. I popped open the uh, the tin here, and uh, if you can see inside, you see the black black char. Now this this piece of cloth, you're going to be really delicate with it. But there it is. And what it is is, um, you you know it's done when it's black. If it's still brown, then you know it need, it needs to cook a little bit longer. But um, you keep this piece of cloth in your little tin here. And when you go to start a fire, it's like charcoal in your bag. And you could cook, you know, you can use bigger tins. You can make the tins, um, you can use cookie tins and make like 10 of them at a time. You could even stack a couple on top of each other if you really want. But um, then what we'll do is, in another video, we'll test out our fire starter that we have, the Aurora. And uh, we'll show you how easy this stuff is to ignite. Because this stuff is super, super easy to ignite now that once it's, it's, it's the charcoal. So yeah, you just use a simple tin, put a small hole in the top, put a piece, you want to put your cloth in there like cotton, and uh, you want to let it cook. Um, depends on how high a setting you have, how high of a setting you want to cook cook it at. Like uh, normally I do it at a medium for like a medium um, uh, temperature, and you cook it for like five to seven minutes. You can cook it over any heat source, uh, campfire, um, like I use my little, my uh JOGR stove that I got and we did a review on a while back I use that but you can use any stove and uh, any tin as long as it's tin like an Altoids tin or whatever um, and then once you're done cooking it you just you can put this whole tin straight in your bag but it does have a hole so another easier way to do it is like maybe put it inside of a um, plastic bag or something and then put it in there if you're going to do it that way or you can get another tin and if you need to cook one while you're out, you could always cut a piece of your shirt off or, or something like that. You can cut a piece of your shirt, put it in there, cook it so you have in case you need to, to move, you have a way to um, to start the fire, to you know ignite an easier fire. But um, I just want to do a short video on how to make a char cloth. It's a really cool fire starting technique that not a lot of people know. You still need an uh, ignition source, a spark, but let me tell you, these things light up quick um, once you have them. So get them, make them, try them out. Um, before you got in the field, you want to make sure you do a test run of it. You want to make sure that you know you know how to do it first um, before you go out and think you're going to do it out there because it does take some practice getting used to making making them right um, and knowing when they're cooked long enough. Because like I said, it, it depending on the heat source, it could take you know shorter or lesser lengths to cook them. So um, yeah, it's just a really cool fire starting technique. I figured I'd show you guys. Um, because I'm out here in my front yard and figured I'd show you guys on how to make a char cloth. So there it is. Take a look at our website, evolutionofthepocalypse.com. You can find us on iTunes and Stitcher, our podcast. Uh, make sure you check out Real Rough in It Survival. Um, he, it's Adam Bradbury's YouTube channel. He's doing a lot of cool things. He even did a fire starting um, video recently where he did some fire starting stuff. So 
go check those things out. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions on videos you'd like us to try, um, let me know. And we're, we're more than willing to try them. So uh, suggestions, you can email us at evolutionapocalypse at gmail.com. And thanks for watching again.